and welcome to another yoga studio. I am Kat, if you haven't joined me before for any of our other classes, and it's great to have everyone along on the mat today. So thank you for coming along and joining in. So for today's class, we're going to do some essential strength work. Uh, this is something that, you know, we don't have to be super warmed up, um, but if you ha perhaps have come straight from a very long period of doing not very much at all, you might want to just give yourself a brief warm up. So I will add a link in the description below. So you can quickly go and try and get yourself moving before we start. Um, so this is a great kind of, uh, great thing to do perhaps at the end of a run or walk or something like that. And equally, we don't do any stretching at the end. So if you do feel like you want to fit some stretching into, de into your day, again, I will make sure there is something in the description below for you to try and do at the end of it. So we are going to get straight on into our little practice. We are going to be, we're going to start standing and then we are going to come down to do a little bit of work on the floor. So we're going to begin with some squats, get the muscles in the lower body working. So feet are about hip width apart and we want to make sure as we come forward, uneasy tracking out over our toes. So if you're aware you've got your feet turned in or out a lot, we might just want to make sure the feet are parallel. We're going to have a little bit of awareness for our core muscles as you breathe out draw in through the core so we feel like the belly button is being drawn in towards the back of the spine when you're ready we are using the next breath out to send the hips back weight coming back through the heels reach the arms out breathing come up to standing so we do 10 of each exercise and then you can go through and repeat this as many times as you have time for in one session, or that you wish to do. So we're gonna go for three more squats. Okay, and come up standing, right? Let's take it down towards the floor. And we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. So we're gonna take a little bit of a push up movement. So the hands are roughly in line with the shoulders. We're breathing out. Again, we've got that awareness of the core drawing in for support. And then as you breathe out, bring the elbows in towards your ribs. So you can do this on your knees. We can take the knees back behind us. Or if you want to come to a full plank position, we can also come to that position as well. So think of bringing the chest, the nose towards the floor. And if you find that actually you're just doing a very little dip, that is absolutely okay. We do not have to come all the way down towards the mat in whatever position we are in. So we have two more of the push-ups to go. And then come all the way down to lie face down on the floor. We have exercise number three. So we've got the hands coming up behind you. Fingertips are touching the thighs. And as you breathe in, we're going to take the chest up, slide the arms back. So this is going to fire up our muscles in the back of the body. Hear my microphone tapping on the mat, so apologies if there's a little noise as each time I come down towards the floor, we're going to go for nine and ten. Okay, push yourself back up. We're going to come back into this tabletop position. Tuck the toes under. Just do a little bit of work for the core. This time we're going to hold. So this is like a floating tabletop or a floating plank position. We breathe out. We draw those lower core muscles in. So we feel the belly button again being drawn into the back of the rib cage. So keep squeezing up and up and up with the core until you feel like the weight is coming out of the knees and then maybe we float the knees up off the mat and aim for the five to ten breaths here. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Take the knees down. And we are going to come round on towards your back for our last little exercise. So we've got the heels on the floor. So they're just, the feet are in line with the hips. Just a little way out in front, we're going to roll up into a bridge position. So each time you come up, we just want to think of the knees and the ankles being stacked. So we've got a nice bit of support there from the feet and the shins. Make sure you feel comfortable on the floor to start. And then when you're ready, we're going to breathe out. Roll the back up and away from the floor. Use your glute muscles to squeeze the hips up. And then as you breathe in, roll that down. So we're going to breathe out. Pick it up, breathe in, come back down. So the weight is being pushed into the toes, the ball of the feet. So it doesn't matter how high you come up, it's the pushing up and away from the floor, engages the core muscles. Also a bit of muscles that work for the muscles in the legs as we support ourselves. And again, we're on to our last two, so we are nearly finished this super quick fire round. And then to finish, just bring your knees in towards your chest. Take a little rock from side to side. And there we go. There we have it. We have completed our quick fire round of essential strength work for the body. So remember, if you really want to work a little bit harder, a little bit longer, you can repeat that another couple of times right now. And if you have got any weights or anything like that that you want to bring in, we could always add in a little bit of weight. So we're holding onto a weight when we're doing our squats with the hands. Uh, we can do the same thing when we're coming up to a bridge, hold the weight over the belly, the hip area, so that we're pressing the hips up with a little bit more resistance there towards the sky. So uh, that can also just make you work a little bit harder if you want to progress through uh, another couple of sets. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, remember you can give a thumbs up. Uh, leave any comments or questions below. And of course, if you want to join me again on the mat, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I will see you in the future. Okay, take care now. Bye.